Hi, I'm Danny Boom and welcome to Recipe Rehab, sponsored by Everyday Health. On this episode, the Garcia family loves their cheese enchiladas. How about we make some cheese enchiladas? Great, let's do this. We love eating cheese enchiladas. My cheese enchiladas are really good. My dad's enchiladas use a ton of cheese. But with more than a thousand calories per serving, this fatty and salty dish needs a major health makeover. We deep fry the tortilla in oil and I use a two pound block of cheese. My dad really needs to lose weight. I need to eat healthy and I need to to show a good example to my daughter. Please, Please rehab our cheese enchilada recipe. recipe. Two chefs will battle it out to see who can rehab the Garcia recipe and make it more nutritious. I'm gonna get rid of almost all the cheese without sacrificing any of the flavor. I'm gonna add a kick of spice. The Garcias will then cook the rehab recipes in their own kitchen. Let's get cooking. Our chefs will be judged on taste, health, and ease. There's definitely more ingredients than what me and my dad use. Which recipe will fall flat? This is not gonna be good. Which will score big? I'm loving the sauce. And which chef will win the title of Recipe Rehab Champion? Right. And now let's meet our two kitchen virtuosos who will compete in this week's culinary showdown. At the green station, the smashing chef, Jaden Hare. And at the yellow station, the brilliant chef, Maria Ibrahim. Are you ready to see these enchiladas? I want to yeah, see it. I want to see do it. it. Whoa! Whoa. <laughs> That's a lot Mother of cheese. And cheese. Yeah. yeah. Now, if there's that much cheese on top, I wonder how much cheese is actually on the inside. There's cheese and more cheese and more cheese. And some really salty sauce. These Garcia family cheese enchiladas, they're loaded with 1,006 calories. And 650 of those come from fat. So, chefs, we have a bit of a tall order on our hands today. OK, so let's put 45 minutes on the clock. Are you ready? Absolutely. Are you set? Definitely. Let's rehab that recipe. OK. Our chefs will be judged in three categories. The Garcia family will judge the dishes on taste and ease of preparation. And the Everyday Health Nutritionist will give each recipe a score for health. Chef Murray, you've got your plan in your head. I do. I'm going to get rid of almost all the cheese, and then I'm going to add in cauliflower and a lower fat cottage cheese. So I'm going to reduce the saturated fat and the fat by 90% and knock down the calories by like 70%. Wow. Yeah. Chef Jaden, how hey, are you doing over here? I'm doing here? great. What's your plan of attack? My plan is instead of using bottled enchilada sauce, we're making it from scratch, and we can reduce the sodium by almost 70%. What are we gonna do to cut down the fat? I'm replacing half a pound of cheese with half a pound of lean ground turkey. And I can see it's turkey from our sponsor, Jenny O, it right? It is. And it's a pretty good substitute. Exactly. They'll never taste the difference. Instead of sour cream, we're using yogurt, and we're also using skim ricotta, as well as fat-free mozzarella cheese. All of this is gonna reduce the fat and saturated fat by 80% and reducing the calories by 70%. I love this. So let's go and have a look at Chef Maria. Yeah, I've got the wow, onions we... and the garlic going. Oh, my two Some favorite nice... smells in the world, garlic oh, and onion. Yeah. And this is your sauce you're cracking on with right now. I am. I'm going to get the tomatoes and the bell pepper in there. What liquid are you putting in there? I'm going to add some low-sodium chicken broth. That'll give it some flavor without a lot of salt. You know, by making my own sauce, I'm going to reduce the sodium by over 60%. Awesome. So walk me through your sauce here. Sure, I've got tomato sauce, organic low-sodium chicken broth, and I'm gonna add a kick of spice with some chipotle chili powder and granulated garlic. So you're really going for flavor. Big yeah. flavor. What you got in here? Cumin. Yeah, really nice aromatic spice. Is this a secret ingredient here? You're using cocoa? Oh, yeah. Cocoa powder has a ton of antioxidants. So the unsweetened cocoa powder is actually really good for you. I'm also going to add in some chipotle pepper. What is a chipotle? It's basically a chili, it's right? Smoked pepper. This Ooh. is going to give it a nice little kick. So you're actually going really Mexican now. Oh, yeah, okay. baby. We're going south of the border. <laughs> So you're going to be using turkey, right? I am, and I'm using lean ground turkey instead of other fatty meats like beef. Right. And this will give them a source of protein. It's more filling. Lean ground turkey has less calories, less fat without sacrificing any of the flavor. I think we're going to start a new tradition for the Garcia family. That's wonderful. All right, stick your face in there. <laughs> what do you Whoa, think? this is... Mm, this it's is got gorgeous. Some guts, right? Right. And I'm gonna just take the immersion blender. This saves you a step. You don't have to take everything out. 
and put it in a regular blender, you just do it right in the pot. Okay. I got my sauce going. I'm putting the cauliflower in now to steam. Right. Lovely. We're just coming up to the halfway point here. Chef Jaden and Chef Maria are both making enchilada sauce from scratch, slashing the sodium right out of the Garcia family recipe. It sounds healthy, but will they go for that? It's time for our first break and a recipe rehab pop quiz question. Sour cream is high in which bad fat? Is it A, trans fat, B, polyunsaturated fat, C, monounsaturated fat, or D, saturated fat? The answer when we return to Recipe Rehab. Don't go anywhere. This segment was brought to you by Jenny O, making it easy to eat well. Welcome back to Recipe Rehab. Before the break, we asked you, sour cream is high in which bad fat? Is it A, trans fat, B, polyunsaturated fat, C, monounsaturated fat, or D, saturated fat? If you said D, saturated fat, you were right. Sour cream contains a healthy saturated fat, so it's best to avoid it whenever possible. For a healthy substitute, use fat-free plain Greek yogurt instead of sour cream. You'll be glad you tried it. Now let's get back to the action. With less than 20 minutes to go, Chef Jaden and Chef Maria are in a head-to-head -head battle to see who can completely rehab this traditional but fatty enchilada dish. Now, Chef Jaden is cutting down on the fatty cheese by adding lean ground turkey, while Chef Maria is sneaking in cauliflower to substitute the creamy cheese. Now, which one will make all the right moves and win this competition? What's this step you're doing here then now? So now we're mixing in skim ricotta cheese in with the filling. This is going to be a little cheesy without the fat. So you've got the ricotta, which is a low fat cheese. We've got the turkey and the onions, and that's going to be the filling. That's going to be the filling for the enchiladas Wonderful. instead of just plain cheese. Okay. So it's healthy, it's filling, and it has a ton of flavor. What is this step you're doing right here? I'm making my filling, so I've got my low-fat cottage cheese. Cottage cheese? Cottage cheese. I'm going to blend this up with the cauliflower, and it'll be really nice and fluffy. So what are you going to hear there, Chef? I'm heating up the tortillas so that they're easier to fold when you're rolling up the enchiladas. And instead of deep frying them like the Garcias do, I'm warming them up. Like it, like it, like it. So, Maria, what are you doing here? OK, Danny, I've got the sprouted grain tortillas. These are really high in fiber. I'm just spraying it with just a spritz of the spray canola oil. And then I'm going to heat these up on the open flame. So it's going to give it a nice charred flavor. It will also hold up when I put the sauce on there. They won't crumble up. Chef Jaden over here. This is the part where the kids can help with, the dipping of the tortillas. You're dipping the tortilla. I'm dipping the warm tortilla in the sauce and um, putting it right in the pan. I'm going to spoon some of the ground turkey filling with ricotta inside, and we're going to just roll it up. Seems pretty easy. Exactly. So here comes the cauliflower. Now, where does the cauliflower go? The cauliflower is going to go into the food processor with the cottage cheese. I'm just going to blend that up to make a nice, creamy filling. Is this too many steps, Chef Maria? It's going to be totally worth it. So, Chef Jaden, how are you doing? I'm ready for Sauce the oven. I'm going to top it off with non fat mozzarella cheese instead of the full fat. If you like what you see here today, be sure to catch the first season of Recipe Rehab on YouTube. Just search Recipe Rehab. So, um, you're already gone in the oven. Yes. Something else I'm adding, I love fresh tomatoes. So, we're making a little salsa to put on top of the enchiladas. Ooh. So, wow, look at this. What cheese you got on the so, top there? This is a low-fat pepper jack cheese. It's going to give it a ton of flavor, but there's not a lot on here. But you've used full slices as Chef Jaden used sprinkled. Yeah, this is going to melt and be really lovely. OK, guys, we've got one minute left. It's five, four, three, two, one. Time's up. Wow, look at that. These enchiladas have been majorly rehabbed. But the real test is yet to come, because when we come back, the Garcia family will cook both recipes, and then they'll decide who's got the better eats. But first, it's time for another recipe rehab pop quiz question. One serving of cheese is about the size of which of the following? A, a baseball, 
B, a hockey puck, C, a nine volt battery, or D, a deck of cards? The answer when we return to Recipe Rehab. Don't go anywhere. This segment is brought to you by Jenny O, making it easy to eat well. Welcome back to Recipe Rehab. Before the break, we asked you, one serving of cheese is about the size of which of the following? A, a baseball, B, a hockey puck, C, a nine volt battery, or D, a deck of cards. If you said C, you were right. A nine volt battery is the size of one ounce, which is one serving of cheese. Full fat cheese is high in calories and saturated fat. So limit yourself to one serving per day or try using fat-free Greek yogurt or low-fat cheese instead. Now let's get back to the kitchen. Chef Jaden and Chef Moray have worked wonders with the Garcia family recipe. We sent the Garcia family both the rehab recipes and all the ingredients they'll need to recreate them. Let's see what they do with them. There's a lot of stuff in here. Yeah, I got green okay. and you got yellow. I don't even know what this is, to be honest. What do you have? Ricotta cheese, part skin. Is this the cheese for the enchiladas? Better than my cheese. I get olive oil. So did I. Oil comes from an olive? Cauliflower. Florid. I don't think they have the understanding of what a cheese enchilada is. What kind of tortillas did they give you? Corn tortillas. I got sprouted green. <laughs> oh, my God. What is this? It looks like rice cake. What is it? It says ground turkey. We're supposed to be making a cheese enchilada. And I pulled out ground turkey, olive oil, some tomatoes, organic tomato sauce, organic cheese. I'm getting a little worried about the flavor. This is not going to be good. That's the last of my yellow box. That's the last of my green box. Ready? Let's get cooking. Let's get started. To make the sauce, place a pot over medium heat and coat with the oil. When the oil is hot, Add the garlic, salt, pepper, tomato, and onion. There's definitely more ingredients than what me and my dad use. We only use sauce from a can, tortillas, oil, and cheese. And here we have cauliflower, chocolate, peppers, onions, garlic. Hopefully it turns out pretty good. I'm making sauce, what are you making? You got me making the enchilada sauce too. One tablespoon of whole wheat flour, one eight ounce canned tomato sauce, one teaspoon chili powder. I don't like uh, spicy food. This might be a little too hot for me. OK, so now we're going to add cocoa powder to the sauce. I would never thought of putting chocolate in my enchilada. I figured since it's chocolate, it would be so unhealthy. But I guess it's not, because it's unsweetened and has no sugar. It smells really good. OK, so we're going to put the onions and the garlic in. I usually do not put any onions in the enchiladas. Mm -hmm. I hate onions. I am really curious of how this uh, ground turkey is going to taste. The only time we have turkey is for Thanksgiving. It smells really good, like, well, no joke, it does. Well, I am the chef, so yeah, sure. learn from the best. Woo, this looks amazing. So I'm all done with my sauce, and now I'm going to get started on my filling. Put cauliflower and a food processor, then add the cottage cheese, lime juice, the zest, and the seasoning. Listen, I got to put the ricotta cheese in. It looks weird. I got the sauce done, and I got the turkey ready. So now we're going to make the salsa. I'm actually kind of starting to enjoy this, because this is healthy stuff. I'm going to get my tortillas ready. We're not deep frying any of the tortillas. So I guess they do call this a healthy recipe for a reason. Now we're going to put everything together. Awesome, let's start. OK, so now we're going to dip the tortillas into the sauce. Looks good, it smells good. And let's hope it tastes good, too. Crystal. What? We're using only one cup of cheese. One cup of cheese! So now we're going to get half a cup of the sauce and pour it in the pan. Never even heard of cauliflower and enchiladas. OK, let's pop these in the oven. Let's do it. All right, baby. Hey, Dad, did you know that our family recipe has 1,006 calories, and the yellow box recipe only has 292? Wow, I cannot believe that. When we cook our cheese enchiladas, 1,641 milligrams That's of sodium. a lot. The green recipe is saying it only has 454. So we're doing really good with these recipes. It's definitely healthier. I 
am looking forward to getting some new cheese enchilada recipes because it's not only healthy, but we're able to bring a new recipe into the family. All right, we're done. It's been a long day of cooking, and I cannot wait to taste it. So, Dad, we cooked both the green and yellow recipe, and we're ready to try it finally. Why don't we try the green one first? Mmm. Actually, that tastes really good. I'm really enjoying the turkey in it. It's a little too spicy for me. The one thing I really do miss is the cheese. I actually don't. I do. I don't feel that getting stuff filling with all that cheese. So I actually like this better than the cheese that we make. Now let's try the yellow recipe. I'm not a really big fan of the cauliflower, but I really enjoy the cilantro, and my favorite part about it is the sauce. I'm loving the sauce. I like it that it's not spicy, and the flavor's good, and the pepper jack cheese did really good yes, with the cilantro. Dad, I think I know which one I like best. I think I made my decision also. So it looks like they had a lot of fun there, right? They did. OK, now when we come back, it's the moment of truth. The Garcia family will deliver the final verdict on which rehab enchiladas are the best. Don't you go away. Welcome back to Recipe Rehab. It's decision time. Chef Jade and Chef Maria have done an excellent job at reimagining this enchilada dish. But in this kitchen, as you know, only one chef can go home the winner today. Our chefs will be judged in three categories. It'll be up to the Garcia family to judge the dishes on taste and ease of preparation. And the Everyday Health nutritionist will give each recipe a score for health. Now, there are 10 points per category, so a perfect score of 30 is what you're looking for. All right? So are you ready to see the scores? Yes, I am. OK, so let's first take a look at how Chef Maria did. For the yellow recipe, for a taste, we really enjoyed the cilantro, pepper jack, and the sauce. But the cauliflower just didn't do it for us. So for taste, we gave it a 7 out of 10. For health, the Everyday Health Nutritionist gave it a 9 out of 10. The Everyday Health Nutritionist especially loved how she reduced the calories by 70% and the saturated fat by 90%. They loved how she snuck all the vegetables in, but she missed out on a 10 because of the sodium was still a little bit too high. So, Chef Maria, what do you think about that? A 9 for health. I'm happy with that score. Cool. Yeah. Okay. okay, so let's see what you got for ease of preparation. For ease of preparation, I thought it was really simple. I was able to do it all by myself. So we gave it a perfect score of 10. For a total score of 26 points for the yellow recipe. Are you happy with that? I'm happy with that. It's a strong score. OK, then, so Chef Jaden, 26 is the number to beat. I can beat it. I can do it. Well, let's find out what the okay. Garcia family thought of your recipe. For taste, we really enjoyed the ground turkey, and I really liked the sauce. But for my dad, it was a little too spicy. So for taste, we gave it a 9 out of 10. For health, the Everyday Health Nutritionist gave it a perfect 10. And the Everyday Health Nutritionist especially loved the way she reduced all the key indicators for weight issues. Calories by 70% and saturated fat by almost 90%. She also lowered the sodium by more than 70%. Well done. Thank you. You must be happy about that. Incredibly happy. Such simple swaps. And we made the dish so much healthier. OK. Well, let's see what they gave you for ease of preparation. She'll need an eight or better to be today's winner. So let's see how she did. For ease of preparation, my dad thought there was too many steps to follow. My dad had to make the sauce, the turkey, and the salsa, so we decided to give it a 9 out of 10. For a total score of 28 for the green recipe. So that means the green recipe wins. Nice. Good job. So with a total score of 28, today you've won the whole enchilada and you're a recipe rehab champion. High five, girl. Good job. Good job. Good so how do you feel? Awesome. I'm very, very happy. They really especially liked cutting out some of the cheese for the lean turkey. Absolutely. Well, the chefs have taught us some really cool methods today, and this is news we can all use when it comes to making great tasting and healthy food. If you're looking for more healthy cooking tips, tricks, and some new recipes, you can always find them at RecipeRehab.com slash TV show.
Thanks again to Chef Maria, Chef Jaden, the Garcia family, and all of you at home for watching. Join us next time when we press on to trim the fat, cut the calories, and rehab another recipe for you and your family. We'll see you soon. Closed captioning and other promotional considerations for recipe rehab are provided by...